Hey, what's up? How is everyone? I hope good. I am here with messages from the divine universe. Um, so let's get started here. Let me take a drink of my water. I need to drink more water. Have you ever just realized something about somebody or just about yourself that just like sets you free? I just had that realization, so I feel pretty fucking good today. I wasn't feeling good again, but I feel pretty good, so let's get started. The first card I pulled is uh, Complexity, and it is irates, puzzles, mystifies, complicates, uh, con contradicts, clashes, misses the mark, requires translation, adjusts, makes curious, educates, and transforms. The signs that go with this card are Aries, Virgo, and Scorpio. Doesn't have to be, but I have focus. I focus my logical mind to make smart, effective business decisions. I have peace. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. So release all that negative energy. I have, you have more options than you realize. It sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them. You can, the universe. We have keep it simple. Old souls use words very sparingly, except, of course, for I love, thank you, wow, now, and cool. Wow, I love you now, the universe. P.S. Which sounds much better than wow, now, I love you? Sequence is important. We have companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you are ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. Hold on one sec. What, do you want down with me? Come here. There you go. Sorry, my little wiener dog can't jump off the bed and she knows it. We have the dream. Allow yourself to dream. This card came out um, in another reading, so this is very important to allow your dreams to kind of overtake you, to, to allow them to be free and to be open and to allow yourself to dream. Dream of the life that you want. Dream of the love you want. Dream of that person that you desire and it will come true. Just dream. Allow yourself to dream. We have, when I lean toward love, I am led. Everything we do should be uncondi with unconditional love. Um, let me, i got to put you on a uh, pause. Hold on. Okay, sorry, my dog. Was that a water? Anyways, let's keep going. Mars, action, desire, impulse, courage, force, heat, strength. Competition, workouts, excitement, thirst, impatience, anger, leadership, engine, willpower, motor, sex drive. And the signs are Aries and Scorpio again. So we have respect. I manifest love and respect when I love and respect myself. This card has came out a lot. Do you want back up here, hon? Do you want back up on the bed? Um, sorry again. Um, this card, the respect card has came out a lot. So please um, put, you know, use the laws of attraction to respect and love yourself. We have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. This card again has came out in the last couple readings. So it's very important that you are not living in fear. That you're releasing that fear and you're letting go and you're living in the energy of love only. Love is so important. I want to really, really push that. We have, you'll find what you seek. If you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are you will. It's up to you, the universe. Impatience. I know this card's meant for me. My life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. 
So try to be patient. Know, know that everything that we go through, everything that we're experiencing in life, everything, you know, when it comes to love and on and on and on, is uh, teaching us patience because we need to learn patience for all of it. And everything happens in divine timing. We cannot control it, and we need to know that. Understanding. Another card that came out um, in other readings. So have understanding for other people, for yourself, for love. Um, have understanding that, you know, things take time to build and to create, to make, you know, things come together and just, you know, um, understand that the universe is working. It's magic for each and every one of us each and every day. So we have, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. I have the flow card, harmonize, aids, enriches, benefits, energizes, enjoys, eases, lubricates, gifts, rhymes, supports, and indulges. This is a sign of Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. We have worth, worthiness. I feel worthy and I have very special talents that, that will help me to achieve my dreams. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. So, and this card's been coming out a lot too. So allow your imagination to run wild with you. Allow it to, to help you um, with your goals, with your desires, with everything that you are wanting in life at the time. Just allow it to be free. Those you love, love you. To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Tally-ho, the universe. We have compassion. As you pray each day for greater compassion, a new self is born, drawing new people and experiences. Dear Lord, help me feel ever-deepening self-acceptance. May I see myself as you see me. That is beautiful. I love that. We have politics again. This came out too. And again, I'm not going to go too far into this um, because my views on politics are not good. I don't believe in politics. I think that our world needs to rid our world of politicians and politics. We need to figure out a new system to run our country and to, to make our lives in this world a lot better. I believe that all politicians are corrupt. I'm sorry if you don't feel the same way, but that's my personal experience with them. And that's my personal outlook. So, sorry. And I want to confirm that my connection to the divine is very, very connected. So I don't feel that I'm very wrong there. The next one is the key to prayer is to forget what I think I need. So when you pray, forget about what you think you need. Just pray. We have allowing, encourages, sees the potential in, clarifies, gives hope to, comp compensates. Um, tempers, responds, cycles, grow, realizes, rewards. And this is a sign of Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. We have attitude. I attract success and positive people into my life with positive attitude. That came out a lot too, so pay attention to that. Pay attention to them all, but I want to point out the ones that have been coming out in the readings a lot. I have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. And this, again, is another card that has came out a lot, too. So, And, again, I'm going to give my spill on love because I really believe that love is the key to creating a world that we all can live in, in happiness and, you know, without violence and without um, hate and, you know, discrimination and all the shit that's going on in the world if we would all just have unconditional love in our heart towards everyone don't look at anybody differently because of the color of their skin or their nationality or their beliefs or if you know they're connected to the divine or or what they do for a living if they're tarot readers or you know who are you to say that you know this is the devil's work obviously it's not because god's right here right now they choose you. 
You might not readily believe this. It might even spook you a bit. But there are those who chose this very lifetime, in large part knowing you'd be there. Now that's what we call a reputation. Hugs the universe. Another card that has came out a lot. We have money. All my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and it is the source for all. I mean cling to gain or fear loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. We have success. So know that success is coming your way. Success of love. Success in a relationship that you desire. Success in your career, in your family life. Success in every desire that you want. Every desire that you need. Just success is on its way. And please, please believe that. And then the last message I have from the divine today is the presence of love will always cast out fear. So again, please, please, please allow love into your life. Allow yourself to love whomever you want, whatever you want. Don't allow another person or society or, you know, people's beliefs or your fear if people are going to accept the person that you love or accept you to stop you from, you know, having unconditional love, from loving the person that your heart desires, from loving God and from loving, you know, life in general. So those are the messages I have today. I really hope that they resonate with you. I hope that they help you on today's journey. Every day that we come into, you know, we wake up to each day, we should always give very much gratitude for her because each day of life is very, very much um, something to be very thankful for, even if you're struggling, even if, you know, you're hurt, you know, hurt in love, even if you have not um, been able to obtain the love that you're looking for. Just know that, you know, we need to have unconditional love in our heart and that will mask out, it will push all that negative shit away from us and bring all the light into us. So again, much love to you all. I'm sending you all so much love, so many positive vibes, healing. Um, if anyone has used black magic or magic on you, I release you all from that. Um, I know that when people do that, they really create heartache and havoc in people's lives and they might not really know how bad they have affected somebody. I am speaking from experience because I had an epiphany this morning that just blew me out of the water. Um, I am a natural witch. I go back generation after generations of witches. Um, witches aren't always evil. They don't always cast love spells and all this shit on people to make their life bad. It's people that have envy, jealousy, hate that do stuff like that, not people like me. I try to stop it and I'm going to stop it. So I release you all. Much love, peace. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so because I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me as a psychic, as a tarot reader, and as a human being grow. Um, it helps my channel grow. It helps me to relay these messages to you from the divine. And it also helps other people that are unable to see my messages see them. So I love you all so very much. Please have a beautiful, loving day and take care. Peace.